Hey everyone, it's Russell with Love Crate Celebrate and today we're going to show you how to install new door hardware. Um, you can see we've been living with a mismatch of door knobs and deadbolts and dummy handles. So we're going to swap all those out for some cool new products and show you how we're going to do it. Here's a view of the old handle sets. You can see that there are a couple different designs so we're really excited to swap them out with some new hardware. To start, we remove the knobs as well as the deadbolt face from the interior side. Once those are removed, you can slide them off the exterior side. With the handles removed, you can then take out your bolt from the deadbolt hole as well as the latch from the doorknob hole. Once these items are removed, then we can begin to get ready to install our new handle sets. Now, grab your boxes and you can open up the hardware to prepare for your installation. For this project, we use the Schlag FC60 Custom Sentry handle set with Bowery knob and Collins trim, as well as the FC93, which is also a Bowery knob and Collins trim, but with the inactive handle set. First, I took the latch for the handle on the active side and set it into the hole. You can see here that it doesn't line up. That's because the latch has a setting for a two and three eighths um, setback from the door face or a two and three quarters. Here, I actually had to set mine for the two and three quarters, which you just take your latch and you spin it um, as shown in the video. This allows for easy customization between different door types. With the bolt installed, you can take your cylinder and cylinder ring and cover plate and install it on your exterior side of the door. Once those are in, put in place, you can take the thumb turn and install it on the interior side. When installing the screws, I usually start them off with a hand screwdriver just to ensure that they're being threaded correctly. If you use an impact and try and force it, you can result in stripping the holes which can cause a bunch of issues. So I just find this method works the best. Before you have it 100% tightened, you should align your cover plate so that it looks square to your door's edges. I then secured the bolt to the door. Um, this can be done before or after the cover plate installation. Once you have all the deadbolt hardware secured, you can do a test run and ensure the bolt is align to the hole in the adjacent door. With the deadbolt installed, I then moved on to installing the handle for the active side. I first confirmed the measurement between the center of the latch and the center of the post, which was nine inches. I then marked this on the door face. You had to locate the center of your door hole as well as the center of the latch post, which was two and three quarters of an inch. I then proceeded with drilling a pilot hole at the marked location, following with a 3 8 of an inch drill bit to allow the post from the handle to go through to the interior side of the door. With the hole drilled, I took the handle and installed it on the exterior side of the door, aligning it with the hole for the post as well as the hole with the latch on the top. Once the exterior side was set in place, I went to the interior side of the door and began installing the hardware there. This is a little bit of a repeat on the previous step also, but here you can see from the interior side, me installing the latch as well as the handle set on the exterior face. And then once those are in place, I installed the bolt at the bottom of the handle set, as well as I took the chassis, the trim, and the knob and installed them on the interior side to allow you to activate the latch to open and close the door. With the handle secured and in place, I then did a quick check just to ensure the latch was aligned properly with the adjacent door. With all your hardware installed on the active side, I then moved to the inactive side. We decided to update all the strike plates on the inactive side as the old ones were white or brass and we wanted to update them to the black ones that were included in the kit. When I went to install the strike plate for the latch, the bottom hole was actually stripped out. So what I did is I took a little sliver, it was actually from a paint stick that I just broke apart and hammered it into the hole. 
This allowed the screw to get a bit better grab when I reinstalled the bottom strike plate again. Depending on the old hardware as well as the condition of your door, you might need to clean up the hole with a chisel. In my case, I got lucky and everything fit, but it's pretty minor to take a hammer and chisel to open up the hole as required. Next, I moved up to the bolt. Here, I took off the old reinforcing strike plate as the new black cover wouldn't fit over it. Um, I took the new reinforcing plate that came with our kit and installed it in place and then installed the black strike plate for the bolt over this location once everything was secured. I then proceeded to install the handle set on the inactive side. This is the same repeat as your active handle. I located the hole for the post for the handle and then installed the handle from the exterior side. The only difference with the inactive hardware is it comes with a dummy chassis. It doesn't have any of the hardware to allow the latch to open and close because you don't have a latch on the inactive side. Um, with that, you can see me here installing that dummy plate. The same with installing the bottom screw on the handle set. With those pieces installed, you then take your trim and you take your knob and then you can secure your knob in place with the included Allen key. Um, everything here is essentially for visual looks just to match the active side. You also have the option with this kit to install an inactive deadbolt. We decided not to um, as we were happy with how it looked just with the handle sets. Here you can see both the bottom strike plate for the latch as well as the top strike plate for the bolt in place and secured. So the whole project took us less than 15 minutes and the new handles look great. If you have any questions, you can throw them in the comments below. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to Love Create Celebrate.